Hello everyone. Here we will discuss subset sum problem using backtracking method. Here the set of elements are uh, positive numbers. The uh, example is given here which is having uh, five elements all are positive numbers. Here we will select subset of numbers to uh, reach this uh, given target number 10. So, here uh, the set is having unique and positive values and here either you have to select the entire number from the set or you have to ignore it. That is the thing 0 or 1 that means selecting the element or not selecting the element. So, this can be solved by using the backtracking approach uh, uh, by building the state space tree. Here, uh, when you are selecting any element, then you have to move down along the path of the tree by adding that value of that subset of elements. If added sum of subset is giving you the satisfied uh, value with uh, explicit constraints then you can uh, generate the child nodes for example here for reaching the 10 i am starting with 1 so here after selecting the 1 is there uh, what is the next node 2 then uh, next node is uh, so, it will not give you the solution 10. So, for, so, if it is not give you the solution, then what we have to do? We have to ignore this path. Otherwise, you can go ahead through this path. So, that is the thing. If you are satisfying, then you can generate the child nodes further. Otherwise, then you have to stop that generation of uh, child nodes through that subtree. For example, if you select the starting vertex uh, is uh, uh, here, then we are selecting the 2, then from the after 2, you can select the next vertex. So, next vertex is this one. So, after 2, you can select the 3, then after that, you can select the 5. You look at that, this you is giving you the solution. So, now we have reached the 10. So, if it is uh, addition of this value less than or equal to target value m, then you can stop the algorithm. So, that is what we have done here. If it is not giving you the solution, so in this one, it is not giving you the solution in the previous step. So, what we have to do? We have to apply the backtracking. So, that is the thing. So, here this solution will not give you the backtracking, then you have to select as a another element. So, that is what given here. Nodes to be explored uh, along the breadth and depth of the tree. So, here it is going in the depth of the tree, then it is the breadth of the tree. So, in both ways, we have to explore the nodes. The breadth of the node is controlled by the looping statements and the depth is controlled by using the recursive calls. Now, we will see the uh, example here. The starting vertex is given. Here, we are having the three number of uh, uh, subs three the number of elements available in the set so in this uh, how do we select the node through the depth uh, uh, and how do we explore the node in the breadth so starting with the empty set then add the next element from uh, the list to the set that means here we had s equal to uh, 1 2 3 uh, 5 comma 6 so our target element is 10. So, now we will start with the empty set that is the this one and we will add the element. So, here we will add the element 1 the first element then next one is add the next element 2 and add the now we have to check. So, after selecting the, uh, the value now the sum is 3 less than or equal to m. Yes, you can go ahead. Now, here uh, we are adding the element 3. So, now uh, again we have to check the sum. Sum is now 3 plus 3 is 6 less than or equal to uh, value is now 10. m is the 10. Yes, it is uh, true. Then again you can add the element. So, next element is here 5. So, here 6 plus 5 is 11. It is not less than or equal to m. So, it, it is not, uh, not 
less than or equal to m so it is false if it is the false that means this subset is not feasible so we have to apply the backtracking so now uh, you have to apply the backtracking uh, two steps here then again we have to check for another possibilities so uh, what is the another possibilities here three from the three we can select the uh, six so six also not giving you the solutions less than or equal to nine so nine plus uh, nine is less than or equal to ten okay less than or equal to ten so nine is less than or equal to ten but there is no next element so we reach the dead end so again we have to apply the backtracking here two so from the two again you can go for another uh, possibilities so you have to uh, ignore the three so you can select the five right so two plus five seven so like that until reaching the element we, we have to uh, keep on do that for example if you are not finding the solution okay you are not finding the solution with the suitable subset of elements after visiting all the elements and also there is no possibility of backtracking uh, to find the solution then what to do so we have to stop the algorithm so this is the way we have to find out the sum of subset elements from the uh, given a uh, set of elements using backtracking method the state space tree is playing uh, a better role to find out the solution within the uh, best co time complexity so here the level i left branch is uh, showing the particular value is selected and here the particular value is not selected so like this we can do it so the time complexity is here worst case is 2 power n so sometimes you may find the solution in this node so time complexity will be very less only for three units of time but here you look at that if your solution is available in the last node then it will be a 2 power n so the time complexity for this uh, subset sum is uh, exponential time complexity Thanks for watching.